Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is April 8th, 2016, and today is Friday morning. So looking at the economic calendar today, just one number coming out that's a major number. That's a Canadian dollar unemployment rate change. That's uh, going to be at 2.30 South African time, uh, and that's the economic calendar number today. Now looking at the Euro USD, we discussed this yesterday, and we spoke a little bit about it in the webinar last night, and hit this threshold of 114 resistance and did not break it, and you saw that it didn't hold it. And for a while, it actually looked, I believe it was on a four-hour chart, so we had a bar actually above this 114. It looked like it was going to go, but then it didn't. Okay, so this was a little bit, and this is why you got to look in multiple time frames because you know on a bar it looks like it it closed above it and it was strong, uh, but if you look at a daily chart, it came right it came right back in uh, and having that resistance. So you know all together, as you can see, we've hit this multiple times. We're looking at a monthly chart here. We've hit this multiple 114 several times and faltered to break above it. Okay, it doesn't mean that we're not going to possibly break above it next week or the week after. But uh, you know, as far as the trade is right now, okay, uh, we faltered this 114. So you know, it wasn't a big move on the way down, but it was significant, about 80 pips sell off right here. Uh, so you know, that's money right there. So if you were able to pick out, you know, 60 pips out of it, that's still respectable. Um, looking at the back of the Dow Jones, Dow Jones had a big sell-off yesterday, 180-ish points, um, and now um, still having some resistance on going further down, and after hours we actually rallied here, and we're above this 17,495 in the futures, so it should be kind of interesting to see how this unfolds today, if it's going to rally right back, it's not going to want to go below the 17,495, so, you know, that's something actually to look at today. Looking at the USD CAD, we've had this, you know, correction that we had uh, from the end of January until now, uh, hitting a low of 129, and now we're bouncing off of it at 131, and I believe we're going to be trading in this range for a little while, uh, between 129-ish, 128-ish, and uh, 134, 132. So, um, you know, directionally, where is it going to go particularly today? I'm not sure. Okay, but as long as you know that there's thresholds here, um, a couple of options are, you know, if it fades and it rallies, uh, if it initially rallies to 132 and then you see that it's fading off, you could, you know, short it on the downside. Uh, if it sells off, you know, it goes all the way to 129 and then rallies right back, you know, to buy it. So, you know, you have to really be on the spot and really know what's going on. Um, you know, in real time to really be trading it as the news comes out. Um, looking at gold here, we're trading within this range. I mean, I, I'm praying that it goes down to 180 for me to pick it up in my personal account, but uh, as you can see in the long term, uh, we're trading just between these two ranges, between 1230-ish level and 1215, and it's holding steady here, excuse me, it's holding steady here at this 1215 level down here. So ultimately, still relatively very strong. Um, and it looks like it'll probably go continue going up for the for the for the year, uh, but that's like I said, it remains to be seen. A little bit of a turnaround in the GBP Japanese yen, as you can see here, going from 1452 to 153. Finally, some sort of bounce. I mean, on a four-hour chart, you could see it. Uh, this is the first time we had three green bars in God knows how long, right? Um, so, you know, you have to look at this as possibly short covering. Um, let's see if we're entering a new trading range, okay? Uh, but all in all, this thing has been very, very weak, okay? The British pound obviously weak because of what's going in the EU. So those are the trading thoughts for today. This is Fred Rezak. I want to wish you guys a beautiful weekend. Thank you.